Greetings. I'm Paul, and I'm the lead research technician at the How to Linux Research Labs, and I'm also the administrator of the Pop! OS Linux Facebook group on Facebook. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Lutris on Pop! OS Linux 22.04. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here's my Pop! OS Linux 22.04 installation here and I'm going to install Lutris on here and then when I'm done we'll launch it via GUI method and command line method and we'll also check and see that it added a, an actual we'll, we'll, I'm going to install it from the repo URL so it's going to install a repo URL for APT to use so if we check the repo manager right now we'll see what it's like before we start the installation and we've got one Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine entries. When I'm done, there'll be a tenth one for for Lutris. That way, whenever you run apt update, apt upgrade, if there's any new versions or patches of, from Lutris, it should pull it in. So you don't have to really manage it manually too much, except just run your normal updates and upgrades, and it should take care of it for you. Okay. Now. You can see I don't already have it installed here. And we go into the application folder here, We're looking for Lutris. We start with L, so it would be in here somewhere. Okay, it's not here. When we're done, we'll spot it there, and we'll try to uh, launch it by GUI, and then we'll launch it from the command line as well, because it should put it on the path. It should put it on um, the Lutris script on the path variable. Okay. So. We're all, we got the, all the groundwork, all the groundwork done there. Okay, gonna go to the Lutris website. Of course, Lutris is a, um, you know, it's a gaming launcher, a gaming engine, and it's a a front end for Wine. Now, according according to their um, their documentation here on the download page, you're gonna have to have System Wine installed. So even though it has its own Wine, it can't um, ship with every component in its runtime unless you using flat packs which I'm not going to be doing so since we're not using flat packs which has everything bundled in you're gonna to have to have system wine now I have a video on how to install system wine on your um, on your uh, on your Linux distro well pop pop and um, mainly uh, I think only Ubuntu and Debian based distros at the moment but you're gonna to have to have wine installed on on your pop installation okay so on the download page here um, it says here Pop Shop. I'm not going to go through Pop Shop because it's too easy, and it's got a flat pack, and I don't want that. And and, and um, the version might be behind anyway, so I'm not going to bother with the Pop Shop there. Um, there's no Snap. Flat pack is out. There's no app image. I'm not going to compile from source, and so I'm not going to do anything from the Pop side of things like Pop Shop or or hit the Pop repos. Because it's too easy, and it, like I said, I think it's going to be probably a couple ticks behind. The most current version of Lutris is 5.16, and anything in the pop repo is probably be a couple of ticks behind that. So that's not a good way to go. And you can see the instructions there for a flat pack. I'm going to skip that. You can go to their GitHub and download a standalone dev file, which is fine. But if there's um, updates and patches, you have to keep up on it manually. And you have to be aware of it, and you have to go through the whole process of downloading the deb and, and reinstalling it. I don't know if you have to purge 516 to go to 517, or if it'll just do it in place. But it's a little bit more manual work as opposed to the way I'm going to do it, which I'm going to I'm going to add I'm going to add this um, this repo to our sources list, so we can uh, receive automatic updates. This is pretty good here. This is Debian, and it should work on on our pop installation. Of course, if you keep scrolling down, you see uh, instructions for other distros and whatnot. And I'm going to I'm going to forego all those for now. I'm not going to do it by source or anything like that. I'm going to install it via via the um, the official the official repo to our sources list. Okay, so back with the first step. Okay, here's the first step we're going to do. The first. Um, the first uh, couple of commands which are going to be kind of joined together with this pipe command here 
I'm not sure why I, um, I'm seeing open source. I need to look into that later. Was not expecting to see open source and anything Debian related, but there it is. In this try to a quick little breakdown here. It looks like it's going to uh, you know download the GPG the GPG key and install and um, store it locally, and then it's going to pipe something. It's going to pipe that I think into into whatever this command here is, which I think is look like it's going to uh, add the the repo URL to our sources list. So, I mean, it, it is a little hard to kind of break down and figure out, but essentially it's going to deal with the key in this first half here, and then it's going to go ahead and um, add the, the, the repo URL to our sources list here with the pipe command. Like I said, I'm not sure why OpenSUSE is in here. was not expecting that, but there it is, so let's just deal with it and see what happens. So once we have all this keyed in here, Enter on that. Okay, nothing got echoed back. I guess that's okay. I thought we were going to get something back, but nothing's echoed back. Okay, so there's no errors. So I think we're okay to this point. And we can move on to the next step. Okay, for step number two, you're going to have to have this command all keyed in here. And you're going to have to have this wget uh, utility installed locally in your system. It, it probably already is installed on, on pop. If not, I believe the, the command to install it would be sudo apt install wget. So once you have that installed, go ahead and key this in. It's gonna looks like it's gonna be download the the repo and the, the key here, and it's kind of hard to break down exactly. It's a little cryptic, but it's gonna deal with the key here. Looks like, and the key here again. Maybe the first one I think might have dealt with the actual repo. Let's 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 see if that was already added or not. I'm just curious to see if it was added. Well, here's the repo manager here. Looks like uh, yeah, it looks like that that first command. Okay, one part of the first command there looks like it added the the um, the URI to our sources list. Okay, that was good. So that was good. That was expected. And then this one, the second one, looks like it's going to be just dealing with the key or whatever. So, anyway, it's kind of hard to break down, so we're just going to go ahead and assume we're, we're doing okay to this point. And we'll enter on that. Again, no output, so that's that's probably a good sign. So I think we've added the, the repo URL, or the URI actually, and we have the, the GPG key installed locally. Okay, now, at this point, APT doesn't know about this URI so we have to in our next step make um, we have to update the APT um, sources list or the, the cache so APT becomes aware that there's a new uh, Lutris URI for it to pull from so we can install Lutris okay back with that command okay so our third command here is going to be your standard sudo APT update which will let APT know that Lutris um, that the uh, the Lutris uh, URI has been added to our sources list and that it could pull from it and install Lutris. So we'll just enter on that and update the APT cache, okay? Then we can spot it here real quick. Let's see where it is here, Lutris, right? Okay. I think this is it right here. Let's see, it's, it's not any of these here. Okay, this is the one right here. I don't see Lutris here, but I remember seeing OpenSUSE. So, and there's another one here. Now, why Lutris is not there, I'm not really quite sure. Not what I was expecting. Don't know if I ever paid close attention to this before, but you'd think that Lutris would be mentioned somewhere in the uh, in the string in the um, this uh, this path here. This uh, string of com um, this URL or URI, whatever it is. And I don't see Lutris there, so I don't know. But this this is the Lutris entry. Again, remember we went, looked at it over here in the repo manager. And even here it doesn't. It says Lutris here, but when you look in the actual URI structure, I don't see any kind of reference to Lutris. But that matches up with the other one. Okay, so at this point it's safe to say that uh, APT knows about Lut about the URI and can install uh, Lutris from it. So I'm going to go ahead and clear on that. And I just keep it right here and just key in the last command here. And we're going to use apt to install Lutris. 
Okay, I'm going to key in L and hit a tab key. Nothing happens. L, U. I'm going to go L-U-T. L-U-T-R, okay. When I went L-U tab, when I went L-U tab, nothing happens. L-U-T, nothing happens as well. When I go R and I go tab, it completes it. That probably means it, it knows about it. Okay, that's a good sign. Okay, so we're all squared up here. And we're going to use APT to install Lutra. So we'll enter on that. Let's see if it's going to download some some dependencies or whatnot. Nope. Looks like everything is already there. I installed it from a dev file earlier, and it had to um, download and install some separate dependencies. So this seems to be different, better, I guess. All the upgrade, all the uh, dependencies are already there and uh, satisfied. Okay. Okay, that's good. That seems like we've installed Lutris properly, and. And in the repo manager here, we have it. Okay, so we're all good there as far as adding the repo and the key. And we installed it. Okay, we're, we're good there. And we don't really need any more from the instructions. Go, uh, minimize that. Okay, so Lutris has been installed. Now it's a matter of just um, launching it GUI-wise GUI and command line-wise. So I'm going to go to application folder here. Scroll up. Okay, that there's Lutris. It wasn't there before, right? There it is now. Looks like it's already on the dock here. Looks like. Yeah, it's already been pinned to the dock. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close out the repo manager here real quick. And then launch Lutris the GUI way here. And it's going to take a few moments to initialize. And... I'm going to keep the video rolling just so that you know that if you see this on your end that, that it's normal and you have to wait a few moments for, for it to clear, for it to finish in, um, initializing itself. Actually, I'll, I'll come back when it's done, but everything's going okay right now. Okay, Lutris has done initializing and it's launched and open. Everything looks really good. I can click on stuff. It looks like it's active and not frozen or anything okay um, pretty much what I'm not gonna get into all the the usage of it at this point but whenever I wanna add a game an exe file I go here and I go to Windows uh, install a Windows game from an executable this uh, assuming I've got an executable file already locally installed then I run through the wizard and I install it that way okay so that's how you mainly get mainly you want to work with it from here there are some built-in launchers here if you click on the um, the 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 silhouette here you can connect this way as well if that doesn't work then you can just add the exe this way here one of those two ways I think is pretty much the best way of working with it okay we'll go up here to the hamburger menu real quick and we'll check the um, check the version 5.14 Okay, I was expecting 5.16 because I did it from the uh, the repo URL. Now I don't know why this keeps happening. I um, I downloaded a dev file before their standalone dev file from their GitHub repo, and I installed it with APT, but I used the relative path, and it gave me 5.14 as well, even though I downloaded 5.16. I was told that if I used the repo URL like I just did right now that it would actually give me 5.16 this is still giving me 5.14 so I'm I'm really at a, at a loss to figure out exactly why it's doing that so we're a couple ticks behind but um, Lutris has been installed and I'm just gonna leave it here I don't know I was told that if you did it from the repo URL like I just did that it would be a 5.16 as opposed to installing the deb file uh, relatively of course, I did an absolute path, and it worked fine. I don't know why it's not working here with the URL. But um, it's installed 5.14. I will show you what I'm talking about here. If you go here and you scroll up, they have a, what, they have, um, a dev file on their, on their GitHub repo here, and it's 5.16. If you download that and use APT to install it, 
and you use the relative path, it'll give you 5.14, even though you downloaded 5.16. But if you use the absolute full path, I've ever fired it myself. It'll actually give you 5.16. So I'm not really quite sure why this is working out this way. I guess I can make a, a video later on how to download the dev file and install it with the absolute path so we get 5.16, which is what we're expecting to get. But we'll just keep it going for now. Let me see what happens if I just run a quick apt update upgrade command. Let's see if it updates that to 5.16. Okay, it's in here somewhere. Okay, here it is here. Let's see if it pulls in 5.16 or not. Okay, yeah, it did not pull it in. Okay, I'm not really quite sure why that is the case. But if you really want 5.16, download the dev file and use the absolute path. And I'll make a video on that later, but for now we'll just leave it like this. Okay, so back to Lutris here. And then, so once you find out what the version is, preferences, you want to go through the preferences real quick. Some, some sections here you want to, you know, get in, get uh, familiar with how to en enable or disable um, these game libraries from, that are built in here. And then where you want to save stuff and whatnot. But main thing is you want to, do you want to have system wine installed though? Because it does come with wine, it's a front end for wine, but it has to have system wine installed. Okay, so that's that. We'll kill that. We'll go back to the terminal and we'll try to launch it from here. Now, this is the keyword, and I already know it's on the path, so we don't have to worry about adding it to the path variable. It's already there. So plan plan A is always to install it uh, to launch it GUI method. And if you have any problems that way of launching or usage, then go to the terminal and launch it with the keyword Lutris. And then when you're in the in the in the, uh, the program itself, hopefully any launch issues or usage issues will um, have some output here in the process, and you can use that. Hopefully there'll be some kind of meaningful output that you can use to um, debug debug launch and or usage issues. Okay, so we'll X out of there. And one more thing I want to show. Go ahead and close Lutris. I can leave it open. That's fine. Okay, wait for it to quit. I'll force it to quit. Okay. Now we know it's on the path because it launched with the keyword Lutris. So you don't have to go hunting down the um, the path to add to the path variable. But one way to find out, in case you really wanted to be curious about all that, you can go which Lutris here. And as you can see the path here, this killed here, I don't really want that. Let's see if I can clear it and if I run it again. Okay, that's good. Here's the path where the Lutris binary or the Lutris um, script actually lives. So you don't want to deal with this here, but you want to deal with the, this, the, these first two parts of the of the path here. User USR games. Okay, so this is the path that it's going to be on here. This path here should be in the path variable. Okay, how do we find out the path, what's in the path variable? You can go ENV, and this gives you all the system variables here, and you can go ahead and direct your attention down to the path here, the path variable here. Let's say you don't want to have all this stuff on the screen, though. you just want to deal with just the path. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go echo dollar sign capital path that way, and then all we're going to have is the path values there. Echo path. Okay. And what was it? User games, right? Right here. So user games, that's the base the base URL that the, of the path where Lutris lives. You don't have to put in the entire full path that includes the uh, Lutris, uh, the name of the um, this, the script or the, the, the binary, but just its parent folders here. 
this is the base stuff here. You don't want the endpoint. But you can see user games is already on the path. So when Lutris was installed to games, it was already on the path. So you don't have to add, you don't really have to worry about finding the path and adding it to your uh, bash RC or profile and then sourcing it and all that kind of stuff. All you have to worry about is just launching it with the keyword Lutris since it's already on the path. Okay? So go back to the NeoFetch screen here, Pop OS on uh, Linux 22.04. And yeah, okay, so that was how to install Lutris on on Pop. And um, verify that the URI was added to our sources list and that APT knows about it and it was updated and whatnot. And how to launch it GUI method wise and command line method wise. Probably if you also want to do it graphically through your files, um, navigate to that uh, that path, that location user games, Lutris, and then try to execute the script that way as well. But these other two ways probably be okay for you. And like I said, I'm not sure why it was um, installing 5.14 when the most current version is 5.16. But I'll, I'll probably have to make a video on how to download the dev file and install it with the absolute full path so we get 5.16 instead of 5.14. Okay, so that's about it. That's how to install Lutris on Pop! OS Linux 22.04. Uh, I'm I'm Paul, and I want you. To, uh, and I'm I'm Paul, and um, I'm the lead research technician at the How to Linux Research Labs, and I'm also the administrator of the uh, Pop! OS Linux Facebook group. And I want to ask you to um, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep the channel growing. And until my next video. Happy Linuxing. Thank you.